Hey guys, welcome to Pay's Place. I'm Nikki. And I'm Payton. And this is DIY with Pay and I. And today we're making DIY tie-dye shoes. Tie-dye shoes. For this project, you need white canvas shoes. I got small ones. <laughs> I got a With ties. ties. I don't I don't really like the lace-up shoes because I'm more of a flip-flop kind of person, but I do wear bobs, so these are kind of slip-on shoes. Yeah, I got ties. She doesn't know how to tie shoes yet, but she will. I'm sure with these. I have only four. <laughs> only four? Uh, you five, need, four, you five, need droppers. Alcohol. Uh, alcohol. And, and markers. You got a lot. And I just got like a uh, paper plate, you can use a paper plate bowl or whatever to put your alcohol in. Now I'm going to go over the prices. We got these at Walmart. Um, these were $5.87 a piece. Where am I? Hers were the same price. The <laughs> droppers were $1.78. And these were $2. And alcohol was $2. So. Okay guys, so I got the top of my shoe and this is mine and her side um, done. I like mine. So I, we bought these droppers at Walmart. Ooh, almost got on the shoe. Um, did. And they're actually for ear or medicine or whatever. But I like that they're slanted. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dip it in some alcohol and we're gonna start from the top. One side. Yeah. We still gotta do it all the way around. Yeah. And I did it like around these so it don't get on the middle. And I accidentally colored the middle. That's okay. Yeah, and I did purple on this side and went all the way down. Hers blended pretty well. Yeah. We're gonna keep doing the shoes and we'll show you the progress.
my finished one shoe. I haven't put alcohol on it yet, showing you guys the design. That's how that's what it looked like after I put alcohol on it. This is a sign. Mine looks very There's pretty. gonna be very um colorful. Do you like the front? You got that one with them. Shoe, the one shoe. We're fixing to move on Look to our next shoe. I have a flower. I think they turned out pretty cute. I have a flower. Definitely unique. Look at mine. Next shoe coming you up. See mine? Hey guys, so we uh, finished our other shoe, and this is how they turned out. This is how mine turned out. I kind of did some different designs, and that's how Pepe's turned out. She did some different designs. Hers turned out really colorful. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna let them dry for about 12 hours and overnight. Overnight, and uh, we'll let you know what they, how they turned out. We'll be back. Hey guys, so it's been 12 hours and our shoes are dry and ready to wear. These are mine. Those are hers. Hers turned out super cute because they really do look really tie-dye. Mine kind of smeared a little bit, um, but it looks, you know, it looks pretty good. I really like the bright colors. These were the Sharpies Neons, but we did discover that with uh, like the dark purples and stuff, they do blend a little bit better. So and you might want to do that. And here's what my back did. I put a little rainbow right there and pink. And I put some pink right here and blue. Yeah, and we forgot to tell you, and don't forget whenever you do these, is to take the laces out. Because if you don't take the laces out, then they'll get all nasty and all different colors. So anyways, we're going to that go. would be hard to color. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to go try these on. And we'll be back. All right, we hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we would like you to try it. And if you do try it, comment down below and let us know how your shoes turned out. I hope they're really cute because ours turned out really cute. But. Hey, some kitty cats. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and check out our Wednesday and Saturday videos. And until next time, guys. Bye. Bye.